okay, kid? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry about your brother. Hey, me and Derek had quite a few problems. But he was my brother, and it hurts. Poor fucking bastard. He believed in something once, which is better than me. I guess. Man, fuck, I'll miss him. How are you? In here? Fine. Time of my life. Goddamn time of my life. What you up for? Oh, a lot of things. Racketeer and armed robbery. Bunch of shit I never did, because I was always a well-behaved family man who occasionally liked to drink, but nothing more. Of course. Like us all. Like us all. But the thing is, I think I should make some changes in my life. Stop with the drink. Put it down. Stop hanging out with the wrong sort. Can you help me do that? It is a final chance at redemption. Look, whatever you want, I will do my best to help. Good. Give Packy a call. He'll explain what, uh, I need guidance with the most. The areas where I have strayed furthest from the path. See ya. Kidnap old man Ancelotti's daughter. Some fake tan, dyed haired, Guido loving slut by the name of Grace. She's selling her tasteful pink felter on auto erotica at the moment. Get online, organize a viewing, and snatch that bitch. When you got her, bring her to a place we got on an alleyway off Sacramento. I can do that. You can do anything, Nico. Don't let her on that you're kidnapping her near her place, though. So play along with a test drive for a while to get her out of there. It's a real mobbed up area, and they'll come down on you. Damn heavy. Aren't you going to hell? One of my fucking brothers just got shot and another one's in the pen. Someone's gotta be with my mom. my phone and even if I was I'd probably be too out
Not you as well! Tell me it ain't you as well, hey, you hey, Slavic hey. fuck! What are you talking about? Speak, you Balkan piece of shit! I'm done with you! Done with everyone! I'll go, but I ain't going quietly! Mr. Pegorino, I don't know what you're talking about! I came as quickly as I could! Fucking Anthony! What about Anthony? He was wearing a fucking wire! <sighs> that is a problem. My personal bodyguard wearing a wire! I raised that kid like he was my own. I beat him like he was my own son. When my son killed himself, Anthony became my son. Now this, the world is a cunt. Where is Anthony? Uh, I heard he's wearing a wire, so I freak out. I call him up. He's such a moron, he leaves his cell phone on. So we speak. After he's gone states, of course. I mean... Jesus, what a chump! <laughs> he freaks out on the phone, and I put the fear of God in him. I think maybe I've talked him out of it. Then, he has a goddamn heart attack on the phone. I'm thinking problem solved. He's dying right in front of my ears. But the asshole lived, and now he's in the Leftwood Hospital under heavy guard! Okay, okay. Of course, he's got you on the fucking tape, too! Of course. So you'll do this for me. So you want me to talk to him? I want you to whack him! And after that, I want you to kill all the other rats I surround myself okay. with! Okay, okay. Don't worry. <sighs> You're not like the other surgeons here. You don't have that, you know, god complex thingy. I guess it's my bedside manner. John, you're terrible. Anyone flatlines from here in, it's someone else's problem. Have a good night, Dr. Rosen. This is private back here.
I don't think you will be seeing Anthony on the witness stand. I better not be seeing you up there either. Or anybody else I know for that matter. This fucking bitch. Turning everybody into rats. Stay around, Nico. <laughs>
up my phone.